Hey everyone, quick weekly update, uh, recording this on Sunday, December 3rd. Hope everybody had a good week. I'm going to skip the market update. Obviously, stocks kind of chopped sideways and then had a big push up on Friday with continued volatility contraction. So continuing to deal with that uh, premium erosion, uh, but still doing okay. So for the week, a little over 18,000 on all my trades. Let's go through each of these, uh, starting with so one thing I started uh, doing here late November, now into December, is a re-entry iron condor uh, using a, a bot to just trade this. Uh, this week, pretty flat, minus 259, 50% win rate. Uh, just kind of chopping back and forth as far as performance on that one goes. Uh, on my other AM trades, let me get all those clicked. Uh, plus 1,685, three winners, two losers, one sizable winner, one sizable loser, and the other is kind of in between. Next up, DKS. So I had four of those last week, uh, $1,400 winner, $200 winner, $500 winner, and a $1,300, so plus 3,500 on DKS for the week. JSPs. Two trades, one winner, one loser, net plus 590. And then power hour. All right, so uh, Monday uh, was a little bit of a loser. Tuesday was a little bit of a loser. Thursday was a big loser. All three tranches got stopped out. And then Friday was a big winner. All, uh, all three tranches, big win. So plus... Almost 2,000 net for power hour, but look at that win rate, 22%. Not so good, but hey, holding, holding our own profit-wise. And then uh, on my afternoon trades, took three of those, two winners, one loser, plus 5,600. And then on my midday quiet lunch trades, Three of those, uh, two winners, and then one big loser. So minus three k on those. This one, um, this one is was mismanaged on my part, and I had some massive slippage. So uh, I really have a uh, a max stop on this, of a, a max risk with my stop of about seven thousand. So you can see I got about three thousand dollars worth of slippage on that one. Um, but the other part is I did not trail my stop. I was using the bot trade steward and I was, I was on a call by the time I got off, I was literally getting ready to manually reduce my stop and just the market flushed, flushed me out for a big loss. So unfortunately, uh, took a sizable loss on that one. Should have been if, if my a no slippage and if I would have had my stop reduced, it would have been closer to about a $3,000 loss. Uh, can't avoid the slippage, but that's going to happen from time to time when you get a quick move with a stop like that. Um, but overall kind of painful. Uh, all right. And then my buddy Rick, nothing, uh, mechanically is setting up for my Rick strategy, but I did take two discretionary trades and, uh, 2,700 on one and a thousand on the other. So about 3,700 total on those. Uh, Dynamic Butterflies just had one close, and that was a big loss, 8000 on that one. And then nice week for Dynamic Calendars. Get all these checked. Did not trade all of them, but it's easier just to click them all, make sure we got them all covered. So I had an eighteen hundred dollar winner on a five seven uh, minus one thirty five on a three six, basically a scratch on a one three, a thousand dollar one two, and a sixteen hundred dollar one two. So those uh, starting to perform really well. So a little over forty four hundred for the week on dynamic calendars. Uh, directional futures. I've been talking about this. This is something that I haven't really shared yet with the community. Uh, I'll be sharing kind of what I'm doing here in the upcoming weeks, but booked over 7,500 on my directional futures trading. Iron Ducks had a couple of those. 
or just one. Yeah, just closed one small, small little beak profit on that one for 129. And then a few options selling. One was, uh, that was just a roll, so that one's not closed yet. Uh, the VIX hedge, minus 930, and closed a oil short strangle for 490. And then lastly, portfolio margin. And for portfolio margin, uh, closed a ratio diagonal for 1400 had a $2,800 time fly loss, $1,300 golden shark winner, and a 210 Humpty, so plus 185 for the week, so slightly green. So that's it, my friends. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend, and hopefully we get a little volatility pumped into this market soon. Talk to you soon.